Shalom guys, I'm here with my wife India and we are right now speaking to you from our uh, local bomb shelter that we had to run to uh, a few times in the past 24 hours. Actually, um, as, as I've said earlier, that's how we woke up this morning. We woke up from the rocket sirens and had to run to the bomb shelter. As we were in the bomb shelter this day, several times a day, uh, we heard explosions above our heads. Now, just for you to get an understanding, these explosions are rockets that were meant to hit us, civilians, that were uh, intercepted by the Iron Dome. But of course, not all rockets are intercepted. We have seen a few direct hits, um, and there is an all-time, um, like unprecedented war that we are seeing right now developing a lot of people are being called into uh, the army reserve duty as 200 civilians were murdered and um, over a thousand are wounded and that's when you know in the moment that we are filming this video so this number is already not updated um, so i just want to ask you to keep israel in your prayers and it's it's just heartbreaking to see all these uh, photos that we are seeing families are looking for their beloved ones that um, went missing because Hamas had also kidnapped um, a lot of Israeli civilians, including soldiers, um, to control over military bases. Um, but India, I, I also want you to share how you feel. And But before that, I just want to say that I think what we saw is exactly, because we talked about this, this is exactly what um, the world needs to see that when Hamas infiltrated Israel, they went first to Israeli homes. They went first to Israeli homes, got them out of their houses, um, people like me and you. And at the end of the day, is we Israelis, we're just like you guys who are watching us. We don't want to be sitting here in a bomb shelter. Um, so how, how, did, how did you feel? Because I know that I think it's one of your first exp experiences because you made... Aliyah, you immigrated from the United States. So do you want to share with us? With Absolutely. Them? I mean, I can speak for myself as an immigrant here in Israel, but I think I can speak for everyone in Israel that we've never seen such a situation like this with the hostages and just the graphic images that aren't even being able to be shared on the news because they're just so graphic. And, and the first thing that I, that I thought of when I saw some of these images was the Holocaust. I saw images that I wish I could erase from my brain, images of, of bodies of Israelis butchered, piled up on each other, things that I thought I would never see today. And I spent a good part of the day just reflecting and, and, and just crying out in my, in my heart, but also just crying for all of the families who are searching for their loved ones or, or have found their loved ones deceased. Uh, it's despicable and the, those responsible, the Hamas terrorists, must be stopped. This is their true face and they've shown their truth and they've shown who they are to the world. Exactly. Um, I also wanted to say, because we talked about this, that it, it was just insane seeing videos of Israeli Israeli people our age and younger who um, were, were were just running to hide in the forests, running to hide in the bushes, um, and there 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 are people who waited yeah. from six a.m. to six p.m. Um, no food, no water. They were just yeah, it's just insane. Um, but I also want to say that the Israeli. Um, the Israeli resilience is strong. They are not going to break us. They are not going to break our spirit. But the reason we are speaking to you guys is because there is so much misinformation. There is so much uh, lies spread out there, and um, you know already presenting us as the aggressors. But at the end of the day, we Israelis are not seeking war. You think that we enjoy um, seeing conflict? Developing you think that we enjoy sitting here in the bomb shelter. We would much rather plan the next mo movie We go to watch uh, the next dinner. We have with friends uh, the, the the day that we have tomorrow um, But the thing is that we don't know what to expect um, So I think we want to ask you guys to keep us in your prayers, please keep the people of Israel in your prayers um, and Yeah, we this is something that we have never seen before 
We are asking you to keep sharing online what is going on here so that leaders can see what is happening and take action against Hamas, the terrorist organization that is causing all of this chaos and war. Here, against sirens.